Dustin Poirier, I'm gonna smash your face in. Meet me in New Zealand, 2020, and I'm gonna end you. Uh, why do you want this fight? What is it about um, Poirier that excites you? It's moving you? forward. It's towards the title. Like he's mm. another, like he's another rank guy. That's that's he's a higher rank fighter. That's ahead of me. Like I want his head. I want to rip his head off. Like any of them that get in the way. That's why I have no like qualms about showing people. It's just my intensity for what I want. Like, it's not. Like, when I say I'm going to smash your face in, like, that's not even a sh like I'm putting on a show or, like, just making a bunch of lines. Yeah. And, like, I would yell in his face that I, like, I intend to rip your head off. Like, if I could mm. physically rip your head off, I would rip your head off. Like, that's... <laughs> and I'm just... Yeah. I'm, like, not being disrespectful. Like, I'm just showing my intentions coming yeah. into the fight. Like, I just... Like, getting in Paul Fowler's face. Like, I've just... I'm just showing my intensity. I'm showing the fans who are watching, the people that are going to tune in and watch this fight, like what this means to me. Like I'm prepared, I'm prepared to rip this boy's head off. I saw, you know, his um, his Holloway fight, his Gagey fight. It was pretty impressive from from him. He's all right. All yeah, right. he's all right. Just like all right. Uh, he's all right. <laughs> <laughs> he's all right. Like uh, that's uh, I think. Yeah, like the match, the match is good for me. Like mm. uh, it's gonna be uh, like a five week camp for that match. Like I like the matchup. Like mm. I would fight, I would fight Dustin Poirier any day of the week. Like that's, I think stylistically, it's a pretty tough fight for him coming really? into it. Why? Because um, he eats shots. Like he eats shots. He's like happy to eat a shot to give a shot. I feel like that's you as well, right? You Yeah, but I can yeah, yeah. Let's go then. Like <laughs> yeah. give me the, give me that kind of fight. Yeah. You wanna yeah. you wanna yeah. eat my shots? Yeah. You wanna eat my shots? You wanna eat my knee to the face? Like that's fine. You'll eat one of those, then I'll pack my bags and sit in my hotel room. Like that's that's yeah. done. That's how I go into the fight. Like he's gonna try and punch me, I'm gonna try and knee his head off. I'm gonna knee his head off, I'm gonna pack my shit. I'm going to sit in a hotel for two weeks and I'm going to enjoy myself back in New Zealand, the greatest country in the world. That sounds like a great plan. It's a plan. <laughs> it's a plan. <laughs> Just quickly on Dustin Poirier, I know you mentioned him in Melbourne. He's trying to chase up this fight with Nate Diaz. Just quickly, your reaction to Dustin really wanting to fight Nate Diaz out of everybody in the division right now? Uh, I can see it. Um... Look, everyone's just got to do what, what's best for them and what's best for their career. Fighting Dan Hooker is not what's best for Dustin Poirier's career, trust me. Hmm. Um, fighting Nate Diaz, I can see it. It's a very winnable fight for him and someone I think he picks apart um, fairly easily. I, I was wondering, because when you said that uh, fighting you for Dustin isn't best for his career, you mean like from a sense of name value or just mean like stylistically? I think both. I think both. I think I'm a difficult fight for him. I think it's a it's a dangerous matchup. Um, I think he needs to get back in the win column, and I don't feel like I'm the right guy for that. One fifty six. The official weight for the Diamond Dustin Poirier. One fifty-five and a half. The official weight for Dan Hooker. And finally, the last two men who will make the walk at UFC Fight Night. Your lightweight main event: Dustin Poirier versus Dan Hooker.
world change.